In this lecture, I'd like to discuss how to use trace statements. To be in this class, you should have done programming in the past and should also be familiar with Flash. Typically, to get into the action screen, you will select your first keyframe in your timeline and hit F9 or navigate to the actions from the menu. I have a completely blank Flash project and I'm going to start in the actions area and I'm going to demonstrate the use of trace statements. I use trace statements when I'm debugging code so that I can see if I've gotten to a certain point, like to check to see if I've entered a function correctly, and I can also use the trace statement to verify the contents of a variable. So the first way I'm going to demonstrate using the trace statement is just to show that we've reached a line of code. Trace is lowercase, and you can put a string in your brackets, your parentheses. So I'm going to type in, hi, I'm at line 1. Since it's a string, it's encased in quotes, and every line should end with a semicolon. Though in Flash, it will work if you don't. It won't give you an error. To test, command enter or command return or control return depending if you're on Mac or PC. Nothing in the stage. This is where your trace statement will display in your output tab. I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it my variable. Flash will let you do things you shouldn't. It will let you do loosely typed variables where you just declare a variable and then assign something to it, in this case a string. Or you can give it more specific types, which we will do in upcoming exercises. I've now created my variable and I can trace it. And this one I'm going to leave the semicolon off to show that it does not actually give you an error. If I wanted to check my code before running it, I can check syntax using this blue check mark. And it does tell me I have an error. When I double click on it, it will take me to the line that has the error. And it tells me that I have a six syntax error that I'm expecting a semicolon before the left parentheses. Sometimes there is actually an error in which line it appears on. It's giving me the same error and I'm looking for my error. Ah. I said variable my var. I am the variable, so trace. I didn't. I did this completely wrong. This should have been set equals to. I'm the variable. I shouldn't have had parentheses there. Easy typo to make. I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my trace statement, so I didn't assign the variable properly. Now I can again check it no errors. You can see that there are no errors coming up here. And so I have assigned, using the equal statement, the string, I'm the variable, into my var. When I trace it, now I can enter it. Hi, I'm at line one, and it displays I'm the variable. I'm going to check this. by. Ch I'm going to change the value of my variable and I don't need to declare it again, so I'm just using the existing variable, which is why I'm not using the VAR variable statement first. I'm going to set it equal to, this is the new variable. And then again, I will trace my var. And I'm going to check the code no errors. I'm going to run it. 
and it shows you, hi, I'm at line one, I'm the variable, this is the new variable. One final thing, often while debugging, I will comment out pieces of code I don't want to run. So if I don't want to run this line, I can put comments, two slashes in front of it, run it, and then that line won't run. It's often used if you don't want to run a load of code when you're debugging. You'll see me use comments frequently when I teach debugging, which to me is one of the most important things you can learn about programming. When I'm doing these lectures, if I make a mistake, I will show you how I correct it. I won't go back and re-record because I believe you will make many of the mistakes that I do, and I think an important part of learning to program is to learn how to fix your errors. So don't be surprised if I make mistakes while I'm typing, like I did in this lecture, and then go back and show you how to fix them. That's how to use trace statements, and it's something we'll be using throughout the course.